that's just an empty Coke bottle. Yes? Ah, uh, so this is the right place. I didn't expect to hear from you so soon. Tracing a person like yourself is simple. I would have called sooner if you weren't as careful. I'd give up about you, Midas. Once I hang up this phone, I'll disappear, and you'll never find me again. Mr. Nelson, I'd very much like to get my money back. And I'll go quite far to get it. Then I guess I'll just have to go a little bit farther to keep it from you. Let's not argue like children, Mr. Nelson. Despite what you may think of me, I am a reasonable man. I've always had a rather silly belief in second chances. If you give up the money, I'll let you live. Simple enough? Funny. I've always had this rather silly belief in never giving in to bullies. <laughs> Let me think, Mr. Nelson. How much money have you and your little friend stolen from me? How many of my friends have you killed? Don't make the same mistake as them, Mr. Nelson. Either you leave the money back where you found it, or you'll be dead in 24 hours. Enough crap, Midas. I'm not afraid of you. No? No. The police may be afraid of you, the mercenaries may be afraid of you, even the goddamn FBI might be afraid of you. But we're not. You hear me? I'm not going to give up just because you say so. That's the difference between the cops and us. You want your money? Well, too bad. You'll never get it. Mr. Nelson, you're so foolish. You can't run, and you can't hide. I am going to kill you, Mr. Nelson. You should have accepted my offer, not away with your life. But that chance has passed. Even if I die, there will be others. You had better have your best man on the job. <laughs> Don't worry, I shall. Goodbye, Mr. Nelson.